okay KO and my hero academia two shows that I enjoy a lot and also two shows that have as main um, you know main trope main thing uh, heroes and I thought they are kind of similar in a lot of ways and they're both about heroes they have those main characters that are weak in the beginning and on the way they become stronger and I just think about it and I wanted to make this video so th this is the video KO versus Midoriya okay KO versus my hero academy let's see who is winning this fight Let's talk about Deku first. Uh, Deku and Todoroki were able to fight and even defeat Stain, uh, who could defeat pro heroes easily. So they together are pretty impressive if you think about it. In terms of speed, Deku is from subsonic, scaling to Todoroki's eyes that is subsonic, um, to even hypersonic if you want to scale him to all might. If you want to talk about power, he in his first uh, test or whatever you want to call it, he punched a giant robot and destroyed it. So, and that robot was as big as a city block. So that's very impressive. I also think that his finger attack, I think it's called Derwell, uh, Detroit Derwell or something like that. Uh, can destroy buildings so I think that's kind of building level on its own because he can destroy uh, Todoroki's eyes like blocks of ice of Todoroki and Todoroki's eyes is pretty strong uh, to be honest so I think with his fingers just he can destroy uh, buildings what I think about his punches I think that his punch can destroy a uh, city block you know, it's kind of city block, maybe multi city blocks with one punch, but I don't think he can do more. At least in the anime, because I'm talking about Deku in the three seasons that we know of the anime. I don't read the manga. Uh, in terms of durability, he can take explosions for Bakugo, so that's something. He can, he could, he. I think he took. Uh, I think he took a punch from All Might, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong. Uh, so his durability should be, of course, a suppressed All Might, but his durability should be city block level or about that. And he also, of course, he is very intelligent, he has high intelligence, he, in the beginning I thought he would be the Batman kind of guy, but then he got the quirk. But yeah, the thing is that he is very intelligent. Now, if you want to wank him to give him some things, okay, uh, because uh, KO has like three versions, so let's give uh, Deku at least a second version. This version is, uh, in terms of speed, somebody told me that in the manga he dodged a light, uh, not light, but a laser, that it's possibly light speed, so he's faster than light. Of course, this is wank, I don't know if it's really true. But let's give him that. He also in the manga, spoiler alert, has another quirk, which is Black Whip, that is, uh, which is like a Venom-like thing, like, I don't know how to explain it, but he basically can uh, uh, immobilize people with it, so that helps at least. And let's wank him a little bit and let's say that he is as strong as All Might before he was, you know, he lost all his power so let's say that his punches one of his punches is multi city block or even town level i would say town level and in terms of destruct uh, destructive capability let's say that his city level let's wank him and in terms of durability he's probably city level as well so yeah that was the cool now let's get into K. -O. 
So I'm going to give you some information about Keo because many people might not know him. So Keo is just a kid, he's uh, about 8 years old, uh, it's not specified. So yeah, he's just a kid, he doesn't have uh, a father, just his mother and his mother is a pretty a well-known hero she was a part of the Avengers version of this universe until she got birth to him uh, Keo looks uh, Keo works at the bodega which is basically this place where everybody uh, buys stuff and you know where heroes that aren't you know high level hang out basically in the beginning of the series he was level 0.1 and now in the middle of the season 2 he is level 3 as far as I know and he got stronger throughout the series and he's a very pure kid and he's very lovely so Keo has three forms his base form which is Keo TKO, which is another personality deep inside his mind, and PKO, which is both KO and TKO in harmony with each other, fighting together, uh, like a fusion, if you want. So the way that it works is that KO is his base form, and he's this kid. TKO is like Kurama for him, it's his anger and all those bad emotions but inside his mind and it's another personality and it's basically TKO lives inside of mind of KO. So think about KO like Naruto, TKO like Kurama and PKO like Naruto in Kurama mod. Uh, that's kind of how it works so yeah let's get into his feats as Keo so Keo we know that he has knowledge in martial arts because his mother trained him we know that he can lift at least three tons we know that he has the energy punches that um, with if he has emotions strong emotions he can make them very strong for example he made two energy punches so powerful that they travel to the moon in seconds and that were so big that the explosion made by them was comparable in size with the moon we also know that he traveled the world in seven seconds that's one percent the speed of light or Mach 11,000 now TKO punched Rad to the orbit so we can imagine how strong that is. I don't know, uh, I didn't make the calculations, but I imagine that you need a lot of power to do that. He one shot at Big Daryl. that is probably a large uh, city block level or something like that uh, he defeated Boxman Jr. Boxman Jr. Uh, defeated with no difficulty Mr. Gar and Carol and TK himself defeated Mr. Gar and Carol with no difficulty and Carol and of course Mr. Gar are two of the strongest heroes in this show and of course PKO combines the power of KO and TKO and makes one um, person that he's skilled in martial arts and also is very strong. So PKO is just the epitome of all of this power combined. When I started this video I thought that they could win, but now that I see the feats and everything, I must say, Keo takes it, he he destroys Deku, he's faster, he's stronger, he's 
uh, has more abilities he can fly he can shoot uh, uh, energy punches he can do a lot of stuff and uh, you can say that oh Deku is faster his light speed he dodged a laser well yeah but KO did it as well so that would be light speed for both of them so it's not that impressive then and I don't know it's just if you just watch the feats the Deku is definitely not as strong as KO of course KO isn't consistent he's inconsistent all the time a lot of people that are weaker than Deku way weaker than Deku could beat him but this is a a battle this is a versus battle we put him at their best and at their best Deku cannot defeat KO KO would destroy him in fact you can argue that KO would destroy probably Prime All Might okay I know it's controversial but he might do it and anyway this is what I think uh, leave your thoughts in the comments and uh, thank you for watching the video see you next time